Alright, I will start it. VictoriaCambridge.com. There's old Tommy Wright. Uh, state representative in the 91st district running for delegate. Gosh, I think he's been delegate 35 years. And we're going to talk about that. And talk about. But let's get a little update here. On uh, February 21st, 2022, I think when we first started uh, VictoriaCambridge.com, uh, probably about 2008. 2007, but Mr. Barack Obama had ascended to 1600 Pennsylvania, and we started to see a. Now, some places you see tumbleweed. In Victoria, you see the tumbling. Diet Pepsi box. There's a typical house. That's a Sears house here. You'll see one of those over at 9th Street. They're all over the place. That house, a lot that were out here when this town came to be. And the only reason this town came to be, and goes that tumble, it goes that tumble box again. And the only reason this place came to be was because of one Henry Huddleston Rogers. And one Colonel Page. Together they had a railroad called the Virginian Railway. And the Virginian Railway needed a new home. In fact, it wanted a home on a new line so it could compete with a much, much larger group. And by John D. Rockefeller. And you had the uh, mouse that roared with Mr. Colonel Nelson Page and Henry Huddleston Rogers, very, very, very interesting man from Fairhaven, Massachusetts. A wide variety of friends, interesting, Mark Twain, a lot of Sam Clemens and one uh, George Washington, uh, Booker T. Washington. I said George Washington Carver. That would have been a little bit long before his time. Yeah, Booker T. Washington. A few others. Here you have Tommy Wright's old store. Now, for many, many years and before that. This has been head start here for a while. And uh, continues to be. I did have a problem with the pandemic, but... Uh, CCP virus, and some of us call it. Have uh, yeah, well, on there, and I believe, probably, mm -hmm. take a little walk in. Huh? Up there, but they put their snowman up there. Nice little play area, right up and out of Way Boulevard. 46, which heads on up to Crewe, Virginia, where the competing railroad was. <laughs> yeah, the NW, the North and Western. Oh, there's that. And we'll have to we'll pop the website in there for you. I don't continue a little walk. Across this area. So basically, this was a spot on the map halfway between Galax, Virginia, West Virginia, where coal, <laughs> for the whole pretty much East Coast, came out. And Sewell's Point, I don't know if we'll. Time water, where the coal went and was distributed to the rest of the world. 
all over the place. There's Parker Oil, been up in Burtville for many years. But the idea was with Paige and Rogers had the shortest distance between two points is a straight line. They made a straight line pretty much from Galax, West Virginia, Virginia to Norfolk Sewell's Point. So wherever halfway on that line is, that's where we're going to build our rail yard, our main freight offices. And that became Victoria, as he was a very good big, big fan of Queen Victoria. Now, as we look here at the lodge, and a wonderful monument to the fallen. And we'll see some of the ones here. We are in Lunenburg County. Lunenburg County is known as the mother of counties. It's out of Lunenburg County, about eight other counties. Had, uh, had, basic, had basically formed. And here we basically see Some of the, um, that paid the ultimate sacrifice. And of course, taps, known as. A great song to learn on a harmonica because it's all blow, 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 blow the whole time. I don't have my harp with me, but I play it and I've played it up here actually at a couple of uh, events in the past. Damn right, God bless America. America now, America party now. Save it. Oh, here we have. So we had the monument that was put there, and of course you have a time to live and a time to die and a time to pass, and Staples has certainly filled the bill there. And we did it for my late dear Kathleen Del Osborne, and good for you. Vaughn's been there whoo, in the early 1960s, 61, and certainly uh, fills the bill for your gas and your convenient sneeze and phenomenal fried chicken. And all the my other salads are homemade. The coleslaw is out of this world. Very good. And what basically you had here was the reason for the season, as I like to always say. Halfway point. This is where the this is where the off this is where the trains. This is where everything would be based. So compared to some parts or area around here on the outside, it's it, it's fairly new. 1908, it's not that long ago. Uh, we probably had some of the first settlements in Southside Virginia and in uh, and the Duchy of Lunenburg, which is what Lunenburg kind of named for him, uh, in the 17, I'd say 1780s, 1790s for sure. Being, uh, you know, 1776, the war for the revolution. Are we on the verge of another one? 
one thing you'll always see all over the south side and you know, small towns in general and our churches some wonderful ones here all the all the originals this is the Episcopal Church you see that and I'll walk up on Lee Ave and you can obviously see a lot of new architecture well new compared to when things were originally built and you can see the styles that were from the 30s 40s and on down from that and some of the originals in fact happened to be living in one of the first areas of the homes that were developed you know, the railroad houses over 9th Street, uh, three, built identical at the time. Only one looks original to what it was, and that's pretty much 1518, right? Although, uh, one next to that, the Glasscocks is probably the closest to that because it hasn't had any real renovation changes to it, but you'll see from there. And then another thing you'll always notice here. More monuments. And can I see what this one's about? These areas make nice. There's a nice shot of the Christian church. That's the Ten Commandments monument. Provided by these phone folks. And actually, if you look at this. Good. You saw? You know? There are lots worse guys you could follow. They may be the best guides in this universe to follow. Nice here at night. And of course, as you take 49 into town, you gotta cut off into some of the towns down the line, Dillwyn and Meharon, which make, which makes these towns look like, this town looks like a megalopolis. Nutbush, yes. And down that way. And we all head on in. I don't know it's not a way boulevard. See a side view of that yellow house out there. Right through the trees. That's good old 1518. We yeah, have these little areas here, grassy areas. You can do a variety of different things with them, really. And I'll see here a lot of, a lot of vacant houses. But, uh, no opportunity. And we get into, as we walk a little further, into Victoria itself and this is probably 30 years ago would have been bustling right now and there probably would be about 30 40 times more business and activity going on Invariably, when the railroads, basically, the North and Western, Norfolk and Western, and the Virginia generally merged, the baseline for that is right up the road in Kroof, 
15 miles up the north. And that's where everything went from there. At that point, there was no other reason to keep a lot of the things open. Now, you see some buildings here. This looks like it's been vacant here for a while. That's five years. Right, yellow tape around it. I wonder if there's any activity might have happened. No. Like somebody broke some windows. Mm. Can't really see too much else. Oh, dog dog. Now Victoria did have does does have a paper and at one time it had a home uh, in fact it came up here in 2008 pretty busy over there KV dispatch still have a print print paper no office everything was all bought out of the Farmville Herald group we bought it the papers but it's in building's in good condition uh, actually not sure who not sure who owns it but we'll take a couple pictures or take a little walk through here Okay, take a little pokey. Ah, this place does not look a lot different. And last I was in it, oh, probably three years, four years ago, I did some web web design for the folks on some different little projects. But yeah, certainly a building that could could be something. There's one thing about vacant buildings and vacancies and inactivity. Inactivity breeds more inactivity. Multiplier of four. Find a place, things that are inactive, going down. The movement will be to see four times that much go inactive, going down. And you've seen, I'm sure, all over and right about towns that were bustling one time. Apartment store moves out clothing store, manufacturer, a couple people move out, then the bank pulls, and a service industries leave, and also there's no end destination. Gosh, what else could we do with this thing? And you take a garage like this. Let's take a look at it. Well, yeah, no, we won't be able to. I don't think we'll see. We'll see through there. Nope, can't really see a lot in that. Let's see what we see here. Oh, alrighty there. I guess. Oh, that's the back of a truck. Another truck. And as you can see, it said it's empty. I don't see a lot of wet and mole spots anywhere. So I don't think it's got a leaky roof. That's something a lot of old places have leaky roofs and bad walls. And you do get to that certain point where teardowns are only your only option. But Now this, last, 
which didn't last long. And it basically just kind of stores up stuff. Now, one time there was a gentleman, the ex-vet, into gaming in a big way. And, uh, ooh, alarm. He had a, uh, he had a game area in here. Go once again look in here. I always look at an old building and you look from top to bottom, bottom to top. And what you want to look at I can see a fair amount of people coming through on a Saturday. And what you're looking for, oh, there you go. And Maryland right there. Now uh, what you're looking for. Up in that acoustical tile. There's wet drops. University of Maryland. I've been there a long time. So this building sits, but at one time the game place was pretty busy. There was some activity. Now here is something that is here. United Country Landmark Realty. It's really cute here with the houses. Oh, cute guy. Yeah, looks like they got a supply. Move real estate. Good. We're going to walk on that. Benchmark Community Bank. My bank. Good bank. Been around for a while. New building. They built that back guy. Uh, about 2010. Yeah, 2010, 2011. That was 10 years ago. And it's kind of walk up this way. This has been vacant for eons <laughs> once again though nothing Alton Childers might have owned this at one time I'm not too sure there's some interesting Nicky Knacks in it for sure love this see that I can't really see that let me see get away talk about three little pigs now if you were gonna open a body house this would be the thing I would put in front of <laughs> yeah there they are All right. well basically you got rock on in there uh, banners and stuff now point point to notice these pavers and the crook neck lights this was all done under management of Ken Patterson and Ken Patterson probably is to be honest the last time there was a real positive push force of doing too much in the area in the town was under Ken's uh, was under Ken's direction and unfortunately, Ken, uh, Ken's also a serviceman, uh, has had Parkinson's for a long time, and I think that has unfortunately grown off. Now this, very old, old building, one of the original buildings, and you can tell, if you look at the brick, you get an idea that something where the mortar is. Carmen! Well, you know, Carmen's the last person that had this little thing, unfortunately. Carmen's long gone, as the dollies. And what you see is what you get. Although, as I look up, I always want to look up when you look at these buildings, look up those tiles. And when they're not very wet, they're not very wet and you're not dripping. That's not a bad sign. Well, anytime you're going to look at a building, 
You want to look at top down. But yeah, I had basically done some work with Carmen. How are you doing today? Hi, how are you? Good, doing a little, little thing. Hey, let me ask you a question. If you were snap your finger, what are the three nice things that you would do to make this place fill up and be busy? I couldn't answer that. <laughs> <laughs> it's too hard. <laughs> oh well. And that right there might say. Some right there might speak volumes. Because you get a certain wire area where you get into a certain point of desperation. The average person isn't sitting here thinking about, wow, what could all these vacant buildings be? What could you do with that field over there? Is that being used? Could that, could that house maybe an antenna for, uh, obviously, where it needed, uh, broadband service but gizmo you can go online and you can actually see a couple of videos of the store here and the store that Carmen had in Cambridge and this is another empty build and I think it is whew, pretty bad it looks like, that does look like part of the ceiling fell down All right. Oh man, there's an old MG that is a sweet little machine. Once again, activity breeds activity, inactivity quintuples or quadruples inactivity. As we walk on across the bridge, this of course, we see the park. And you have different garden clubs and different groups that came along. But the reason for the season is this line right there. And that is one of the lines there of the Virginian Railway. Lots of pictures of that around of that. And some online of when things were rolling. Oh, we're just gonna kind of come on down. This is Court Street. And maybe Court Street aptly named because if you go down two and a half miles, you'll get to a Lindenberg Courthouse. <laughs> and Lindenberg as municipality it is. But with the railroad demise, one thing you started to see in a lot of these areas, and a lot of rural areas are outside of the immediate downtown that was kind of going down the hill, was oodles and oodles of manufacturing. And one of the types of manufacturing, so a lot of that was plastics. A lot of things in, in that end of things. Now this, these happen to be mine. These have been my, my people I use. They're great. An old classic uh, place here. And right across the line, you can see the park. And you can see the Virginia. We'll take a look, real close look at that. But that's the, uh, one of the cabooses. And that's about what you'll see in most of the towns, if they have anything at all. I'll have a few signs. I'll have a caboose or a coal car and that's all in the other areas now we're looking where this town began we're looking what as we say the reason for the season and we got that how y'all doing where's that gonna race next oh does it cool now, let me ask you a question. If you're into racing, this, I'm actually doing a thing for VictoriaCambridge.com out here on that. But the big race, obviously, was yesterday. Right, right. How did you feel when they went to staging of races? And especially, especially 
As they say, the granddaddy of them all, Daytona. Stage yeah. racing? Yeah. It's all right. Uh, gathers the cars back together, but it's just something they do to, to make the playoffs exciting. Not that. Yeah, and I guess if they've got really a couple of people that are out there and they're dominant, they can, right. you know, wipe it off it from the back, And then it, and it helps the point system. That's mainly what it's for. You know what? I, yeah. I, I, win a stage, yeah. top ten, you get, you know, you get points at the end of the year. Right, right. It plays in that. I guess my whole thing is the idea, hey, look, the things about endurance, the things about going, rain, you know, rains real badly, they'll stop, but otherwise, and back in the old days, hell, who cares for rain? You're to drive right. on. But you had that whole thing, and, Worked you know, you had the... You had that build. You had that build up those last 20, 30 laps. Right. Almost anything and would happen. Right. You know, in the day, and it just doesn't seem to be. Well, they, they didn't want to take a chance of somebody leading the whole race. Like it is now. Uh, like yeah, within I that, think I guess. Jeff Burton did it one time in New Hampshire where he played the whole race. Yeah. Well, short tracks, it's a little. Right. Easier to uh, easier to do than that. Now what this is now what is that like? A, is that like hey? Is that like a third quarter mile or what kind of a short track? Four tenths of a mile. Four tenths of a mile. Okay. Oh, okay. It's almost half time. Right. Yeah. So, Breaks on a couple of half mile track. Yeah. yeah. This yeah. car right here just won the New Year's Bash. Big uh, race on this side of the. Oh really? Yeah, Cal and that driver. Ah. Yeah. How many laps was that? Funny one. And there's one coming up that's a double weekend, ain't it? Double race, two seventy-fivers. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now where's that? Still in South Carolina. Hickory. Oh, oh, Hickory. oh, oh, North Carolina. Hickory, Hickory, North Carolina. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Where they normally race the Dillon. So he's just changing the scheme of the car. Oh, okay, okay. So you're getting it ready for. And when you're out there running full bore, what will these usually top end? Uh, well, short track, they don't go by speed. They, 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 yeah, you can't run, yeah. But if you can get it on a long track, I mean, where can you? Yeah, we don't have a right, right, yeah, yeah. Really don't know. They don't know how fast. Is that about the RPU? Not even that. Oh, you're running the five something gear, you can't get about it. Right? Yeah. So, what do you think? Just kind of curious, and, and obviously, that that's, uh, you know, some when these, you know, when the races happen in the towns, you know, hopefully there's other things that are tied around it, but. What do you what do you think some of these rural towns and rural cities should uh, do to try to should do what to try to uh, you know increase increase people coming through increase investment increase like this town letting places places like this places like this like the Victoria like Cambridge like Dillwyn like up and down especially all the railroad towns like that to just kind of yeah, without a highway they ain't getting much going on. Well, it seems like a town won't let no businesses come in here. Right. You know, well, you're right about that. Well, nothing to attract anybody. Yeah. Right. Now, you're tired. Yeah, we got a lot of rundown. Oh, this, 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 well, they this. Use that one, thank God, in the old Eileen's with like the old shoe factory and stuff. Nah, uh, Joe's not. They ain't doing much. They ain't much doing much with that anymore. Well, at least they keep the building. Yeah. Updated, you know, because it could be just sitting over there collecting mold. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah it just fall over. Anyway. Well, yeah, check out victoriacambridge.com. I'll probably post this up in about a few days, whatever. But tons of stuff up there on that, guys. Have a great day. I'm Scott. Take care. Yes, sir. Be safe. Absolutely. So we got it on there. And we're just chatting with those boys. Interesting. Race it big. And you got the tractor pull thing that does pop in pretty well there. Oh. It's not that nothing can't be done. You have to want to try to do it. You have to want to try to do it. And you have to have enough 
different things that will draw. You're not going to take these places and say, we're going to do one thing. So that one thing doesn't work. A repurpose and retooling. This is the backyard. We're going to take another walk through the old shoe factory. And we've got a lot of pictures of that. Well, oh, Springer Insurance, I think, had moved over here. Kathy said, This might have been a, may have been a bus station at one time. Oh, it's still this Springer Insurance. All right. Not going to go all throughout this building right now. I'll take a little pier on the side and give you an idea, though. Now, every one of these busted out windows could easily have solar reflective absorbent. I have not walked through this, but I uh, have been in it about four or five times. What we're going to do is walk across the street, though. And I do believe they are... using part of this monster building here now that'll take you on down to the courthouse there's another little little strip center in there and a little eatery there but let's see what we see here no oh, can't see much Hmm. Yeah, not much at all. Look at all this is Scoville. The Scoville building. Shoot. Oh, I think Scoville. I think these guys made chairs. I think these guys made chairs. Hmm. Let's see. Springer Insurance has moved across the street. That probably is the last time that there was much of a business in that. And we are coming up on about what we've got left on this video in space. Oh, uh, gonna come around the corner. And go ahead and pick that up with Another camera that has a little more space. Oh, nice loading dock. Always a nice thing to have.
And we're gonna take that and head on this direction.